my name is Christian Parikh. Welcome to Urban Asian. And today I have an amazing artist with me. You may know him from his roles in Life of Pi, How I Met Your Father, and most recently, Netflix top 10 global rom-com wedding season. Suraj, <laughs> welcome. How Thank are you? you? Good, good. Hanging out. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you feeling about how the film has been received so far? Oh, it's it's fantastic. It's more than any of us could really ask for. Like all of us, you know, we knew we'd made something nice and, uh, you know, but we didn't know that it would be accepted the way it has been. And like, mm -hmm. it, it's it's really very nice to see because, you know, a lot of people, a lot of us gave a lot to this film. We shot it during COVID and stuff. It was tough. It was a lot of fun, but it was yeah. tough. So to see it being welcomed into the world like this is quite nice. I think a so lot of people this, are very good about it. When the script came to you, I know it's a lot different than what you've done in the past. Was it like an instant guess for you? But yeah, pretty much. I mean, it, you know, I had to, and kudos to, uh, you know, Tom and Swati, because they made everybody kind of tape and audition. Mm -hmm. But I wanted it. I wanted it. I knew that it had, like, truth to it. I knew it was important, like, you know, for you know, any Desi person to get to see something like this is, is quite special. Like, you know, like when you get to see a rom-com with like South Asian leads, you know, it's kind of doesn't happen in North America. So it was very nice. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm in, I'm in. Just have me in and I'm down. That's awesome. Um, I watched the movie and honestly, I relate so much. <laughs> so I'm sure a lot of people also related to the movie. Um, how was it working with your co-star Bolivi and just an all female sort of behind the scenes movie makers? It was fantastic. It was supreme. Like uh, Pallavi for one, like she's a pro, you know, she really knows what she's doing. She comes, you know, for all guns, steaming or gunning or whatever the word is. Um, she's very, she's very good. And so the both of us made a good team. Like, you know, mm -hmm. we, we, there was no judgment between us. There was full honesty, openness. Plus we hung out because, you know, mm -hmm. you know, because COVID, everything is locked down. You just like, all you got is your bubble. And yeah. so me and Palu became close. So, I mean, working her with her was fantastic. And then, you know, behind the scenes, yes, so many women doing so many like tremendous jobs. Like it was fantastic. It was good. Everybody, it created this like, let, we're doing this together and for a variety of reasons, we're doing things we might not always get chance a chance to do, though we might deserve it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So everybody was on this, like on the same boat. Like we were all like, you know what? Let's do this. Let's make the best of it and give it everything and have a fun time doing it. And we did. That's awesome. And that's all you need, right? Working on a movie like this. I think it's essential to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's um, easy if you have fun exactly if you have like such you know amazing co-stars and, and writers and directors of course um so did you bring any personal experience to the role of Ravi at all I can't say that my parents specifically try to pull those moves on me <laughs> but uh you know I have a lot of friends who've been through it or go through it I understand yeah. the pressure of it I mean that's there you know um so yeah, I, I basically, like, I've been kind of lucky because I've grown up with a lot of, like, a lot of people around me. So I can kind of make amalgamations of all these people and create a person out of it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, in this case, I brought two of my friends from India and, uh, <laughs> and like, another friend from here in New York and uh, just made this human being. Um, <laughs> And it was fantastic. It was fun. It was really fun. Plus, you know, you learn a lot about your friends or the people you meet by finding versions of them. Uh, you know, That's true. Them. Yeah. I, would, I just want to share an interesting fact. I actually watched um, Indian Matchmaking right before watching this movie <laughs> on Netflix. I kind of went hand in hand. <laughs> yeah, we've been having a as in South Asians, we've been having a, a bit of a week here. Like, it's fantastic. We've got a show going. We've got two movies. It's fine. I mean, yeah. two shows, one movie. That's fantastic. We're that kind good. of brings me to our next question, because I feel like um, it is the most amazing time to be South Asian and an artist at that um, right now. What is, like, I know you've been in the industry for such a long time, and to see so much progress globally and, and, and you know, artists being recognized globally. Um, how, what's your take on that? Well, obviously, I have 
a lot of emotions about it and a lot of different, like almost uh, thoughts that are like antithesis of one another. It's like, here's the thing, like it is so good to see this happen. Mm -hmm. So good. But we're still not even at the place where it's normative, you know. So there's a long, long, uh, tough fight to go through ahead, you know. Like a lot of people, like what's happening is, in my opinion, there's one. It's one thing to have mm -hmm. South Asian, let's just say, actors in front of the screen, and that's good. That is good. But it's behind the screen. It's in the writing. It's in the direction. It's in the production. It's in the camera. Once we get there, where we have more South Asians in the room, or more people of minorities in general, right? That's when that's when it really kicks off. So this is like a warm up. This is a really it, solid, it. good warm up, and it's, I'm so glad we're playing the game. Mm -hmm. And that's at least we got that now. Mm -hmm. But this is a long way to go. And the good thing is, I've met so many people who are more than capable of this, so capable, you know, um, that I have, I have a good feeling about the future. Yeah, and I think um, to your point, Suraj, um, I think we will make great progress, you know, because we started greatly but at the same time I feel like once we start um or stop identifying actors and and film directors and writers as South Asian or female I think that would be much more progress <laughs> one 100 percent and like I've had conversations about this too where it's like okay on one front we need that identification so that we can bring forth whatever stories or ideas we have but at the same time that is in the process to nullify that same outsiderness mm -hmm. yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah like yeah. you want this until you don't need it um exactly so yeah but but but, but good <laughs> yeah no i mean I, I i totally agree but yeah we've it's, it's a great time to be south asian artists i can say that for sure <laughs> we have a 100%. lot going on right now yeah 100%. yeah so um what other projects and stuff are you excited about right now well, I'm doing How I Met Your Father, which is a lot of fun. It's a TV yeah. show, the second season, Hulu. It's doing, I mean, the stories so far that we've shot have been like, like this point where we dropped off season one is where mm -hmm. we start season two. And uh, in terms of quality, we're growing. We're getting better in all the ranks, you know? So uh, I'm very excited about that. And then in the middle, I got to go to India and shoot this uh, movie called Gumohar which was a blessing and super special. It has Manoj Bajpai and Sharmila. Oh, wow. Tavor. Yeah. I mean, he's, a, so, he's a great actor. Oh, he's good, good. Yeah. And so is Sharmila Tavor. She is wow. royalty. And my brother's in it, which, you know, this whole That's thing started awesome. because of my brother. And to get to work with him, shoot the first and last scene together, mm -hmm. was so special. So it's been a very, very good uh, year. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was just going to ask you, like, are you going to, like, make bigger strides in Bollywood? And it seems like you are. And that's awesome. Well, but yeah, there's that one. And yes, but also, like, you know, we're moving towards a more global niche industry. You know, mm -hmm. like these little, what do you call it? Like, differences, per se, aren't really holding as strong as they used to. Right. So it's it's a great time. It's a great yeah. time. And seeing the also the quality and creativity that's coming out of India right mm -hmm. now is mm -hmm. ridiculous. It is mm -hmm. crazy. So, you know, yeah. I want to do everything I can do with the people I want to do it with. And like it's it's really turning out a little bit like that. So fingers crossed we'll keep going. <laughs> um, who is like your dream actor to work with either in Hollywood or Bollywood? Well, in Bollywood, it's Nasiruddin Shah. Wow. I did get to work with him, except like I didn't have any lines to say to him. My scene basically ended. I walked out of the room and then he walked in. That was the scene, right? Then he did. Mm -hmm. So I basically sat in the set bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. And listened to him perform. Wow. And that man's ability with his voice is is super inspiring so him um in hollywood obviously there there's a whole bunch like you know obviously de niro that would be 
a learning Epic. experience. <laughs> Idris would be freaking yeah. bomb. Mm-hmm. Um, there are lots. There are lots. I just want to work with good people. <laughs> yeah. Um, as an artist, do you have like um, a certain flow that you go with going into a role or a movie set? Is there something that you follow, practice? Um, what's 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 it like for you? The only common ground, common thing in all of this would be I like to meditate when I come in the morning before okay. anything happens. So I'm just in a, the good, right mind space. Sunny. But like, <laughs> yeah, but it's like, you know, when you're dealing with people, every person is different. So every character is different. Every yeah. set is different. The people you're dealing with or working with are different. Mm-hmm. So it's always, everything is going to be different. So you might as well have one stable place and that's constant. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's. I actually heard. I was talking to Natanya, who who wrote um, "Show Me Love" mm-hmm. for uh, the movie, and it's such an awesome song. Like that line where it says, "Show me the love that you see in Bollywood movies," which is like that's everybody, that's every they see out there who kind of like you know watches Bollywood movies. They're like, "Yeah, that's how it should be." <laughs> so, um, how was how was filming the the last you know the 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 scene for the for the song and the dancing and everything? That was wild. Okay, so we there was no never a plan to do this. Okay, yeah. But Pallavi, bless her, she's such a leader. Um, she was like, guys, let's just do, let's just like come up with a dance routine, right? We, and this is COVID, so and we're locked down, right? So yeah. we're practicing on Zoom. Wow. You know, close to the date, we go to this park, and we're all practicing in this park, and it's like, you know. It's like people like Vina and Manoj are like older than us and like us and all of us just having a good time. People watching, they think it's like this Bollywood dance yeah. group. And you can see that on screen too, that you guys are like genuinely enjoying yourselves. Oh, we had a blast. We had a yeah. fantastic time. And then on the day, they were like, okay, we're shooting this. We don't know what we're shooting. We're setting up the cameras. You guys do your thing. We were like, okay, <laughs> cool. And, and we did. And it was such a blast. And you know, like people like Manoj, right, who played my father, he, he was like, you know, I always felt so distant from Bollywood being South Asian and an mm-hmm. actor growing up in Canada. Mm-hmm. That like a part of me set it aside, like this is not something I want to do because then I would be this. Yeah. But a part of him was so hungry for it that this man, he's like such a good person. He was like, you know what? I'm taking dance classes. <laughs> that's like, awesome oh man you know, that's it was, amazing it was, it was lovely um so something interesting um how would you describe yourself in three words and how would you describe Ravi in three words and are there any like similarities between the two if you can you don't I, have to describe say, it in three words but Ravi you can Ravi yeah Ravi is kind aloof yeah and mad talented so yeah kind aloof and talented and he learns about that aloofness and what to do with it as the movie goes Mm -hmm. um i am aloof so we have that in common (laughs) (laughs) um i i don't know i don't know much about me but i'm all right (laughs) well i guess there is common ground there so that works out right oh yeah it really helps yeah that's awesome um so I want to ask you are you are you Malayali by the way I'm yeah do you speak Malayalam no I understand Malayalam I never really fully was able to learn it but this time when I went back to India I kind of started speaking little bits and pieces again and then Mm -hmm. obviously I had to leave again so it's like but I you know I really should know Malayalam (laughs) no I was just wondering I was like oh you are like from like your parents are from Kerala and so that's amazing I want to go to Kerala Kerala is so beautiful you should uh, have you been yeah yeah yeah. I used to go there every summer I grew yeah I used to go okay. every summer yeah 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 oh that's yeah awesome. I even went this time like a couple of months ago I helped my mom and dad build uh, a house and then I went for a Ayurvedic uh three-day little sesh where they just ah. feed you clean foods and like give you massages and you meditate and it was like I would recommend and, that to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are there any other like hidden talents that we don't know about that you have? I, I, you know, I got a few. I got a few. I can beatbox. I write a lot of 
poetry and rap. I uh, I saw that. Cover. I saw that <laughs> on your Instagram that you write poetry. Oh yeah, I did. I had one up there. Huh? I should do another one for fun. Yeah, um, you share your poetry. I write a little bit too. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. You should keep writing, and I think I, that like helps the creative flow. Yeah, I write every day, ten minutes. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I've started doing these things, and it's fun. Yeah, this was so great, Sura. This was such a good chat. I feel like I've known you forever. <laughs> we just had a chat <laughs> as a friend. Um, but yeah, like I watched the movie and I think I'm definitely going to watch it again. Um, yeah. You did amazing and your chemistry with Balavi on screen was just phenomenal. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for the chat. This was wonderful. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you so much. And it has been wonderful. That was a good, good conversation. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, my name is Suraj Sharma. You guys are tuned into Urban Asian, and please check out Wedding Season on Netflix.